I tried what is probably the hardest exam in the world, the GE Advanced. Thanks to my subscribers who have recommended this. This exam consists of a lot of different questions with some highly unusual solutions and a lot of physics that I've personally learned during the first year at university, including some mathematics as well, for instance, matrices. Negative marks are penalized with a negative score. Wait, am I going to get a negative score if I try this? Let's solve question one. We have a lot of particles which are part of this uh, gas and they're all orbiting around this center under the gravitational force. Well, given that the mass density of this object here depends on the distance r and the mass of a single particle is m. Additionally, the kinetic energy of a single particle is k. Now what we're looking for is the number density which of course is a function of the, the radius which is simply defined as the density divided by the mass. Now the best place to start with this question is just writing down what we already know. So we know that the kinetic energy of a single particle is k therefore a half mv squared is equal to k. Now we also know that the particles in this gas are moving under gravitational attraction. Because of that the net centripetal force will actually be equal to the gravitational force. So we can say that mv squared over r will be equal to gmm over r squared. We can actually cancel out this. A half mv squared is equal to k, therefore mv squared is, well, just equal to 2k. So we can just say over here that 2k is equal to gm m over r and what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange for that mass here which actually depends so this here is a function of the radius so m will be equal to 2k r and then I'm going to divide by g m. Now we can do one of my favorite things and that is to differentiate. If this much mass is caused by radius r, then we can consider a small amount of mass which is going to give us a mass which is dm and that will of course be caused from a little radius which is d Ah, we can find the value of dm simply by differentiating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take dm and I'm going to just differentiate it with respect to r. So remember mass is just density times volume. So what I'm really differentiating is the density times the volume, which is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So dm by the r is simply going to give me, okay so let's differentiate that, rho, so we're going to get 4, now the third will come down here and then we'll cancel out with the third, so let's just write that actually, 4 thirds over 3 pi r uh, squared, so this here will be differentiated, so dm by dr will actually be equal to rho 4 pi r squared. Okay, well the value of dm would then just be equal to rho times 4 pi r squared dr. Now let's plug this value of dm back into this equation and what we are going to get is that rho, so rather than dm I'm writing 4 pi r squared dr and this will equal to this expression over here which is 2k over gm dr. Now all I need to do is rearrange for rho and then I'm going to have a function of the density um, with respect to distance. So let's do some cancellations. First off the drs are going to cancel, this 2 is going to go, which is going to convert this into a 2. What we're left with for the density is that the density is equal to, let's see, we have a k over here and uh, ooh, 
this m here, just a lowercase m, let's be consistent, uh, divided by pi, then 2 pi r squared, uh, the drs have cancelled, and then we also have a factor of g m. What we're looking for in this question though, remember, is the density divided by the mass of a single particle, so we need to divide yet again by m, and what we are going to get is that the um, number density r is actually equal to k over 2 pi r squared g m squared, and therefore the correct answer is a. This question in particular reminded me of a question from the International Physics Olympiad which will really help complete your journey into understanding gravitational physics and you should really check that out next right over here. Once again, thanks guys for bringing up this amazing question and this really interesting entrance exam. In the future, I'm going to be posting a lot of GE advanced material. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.